All right, Capricorn, here we go. Here is the reading for the next for the next five days or so. Third quarter of the moon. What do we got going on for Capricorn? Random number. Basketball. Random, that was a random word. Basketball. Random number 12. All G's. Four of Pentacles as the root. And Eight of Cups as our main card. So let's just look at this real quick. The root card and kind of the real energy that's happening. Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is the fear of moving forward because you know you will lose something. Um, now, here's the trick. If you move forward, the things that you lose are all surface-level bullshit things anyway. Um, there's the miser, and they're about to go through the portal to the underworld. They will have nothing when they move through except for the truth of themselves. And here, you know, you can see them like, oh my god, I'm going to lose all my money, all my fancy shit. And that is inevitable. So there, but this is like a fear, you know, it's a fear of moving forward because you will lose something that you cling on to that is surface level bullshit and doesn't have anything to do with your truth. So the main card is an eight of cups. So the eight of cups is about letting go of old emotional crap. Um, both of these cards are very much about moving forward, right? And it's about letting go. Now, this can be physical and material things. The Eight of Cups tends to really show emotional stuff. So let's just put a card back here and look at this emotional bag of bricks. Wow. Um, and then let's see. Holy shit. So that's fascinating. The, these are two of the same cards that showed up in the Leo reading. Now, here, it's it's a backward progression of the cups, right? But here, when we look at this big stack of cups and this emotional crap, so what represents this emotional crap? And we get the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is just confusion. You know, it's like having so many options that you don't necessarily know what to do. Um, there's something... I mean, as I look at this card, the thing that's kind of coming out is this... Um, the belly button there. So this... I mean, belly chakra is probably where you would keep all this garbage. But there's like some confusion... And it's probably old, and it's held within the belly. But in the eight, she realizes that she suffered for this shit already. You know, there's nothing more she can learn from it, so she just lets it go and moves forward. Um, I can see the connection with the four down here. It's like, with all of these options you know that you still have all of these options, but it's like committing to one of those options means you would lose all the other ones, you know? And uh, it's it's one of those weird deals where if all of the options are still open, it means you haven't taken any of them. So, you know, I mean, you still end up with nothing. Nothing in your hand or something in your hand and then the other things can't be in your hand. It's like... It doesn't matter either way. So letting go of all of the potentials um, to actually move forward seems like it would be fine. But with the four, it would show that these potentials maybe are something that you would hold very close. Cling on to. Now, moving forward. So letting go of this sort of confusion and... Um, whatever comes with that. So as you move forward, we get to the good old Seven of Pentacles, and that is the witch practicing witchcraft. It's about learning by doing. So whatever it is you're trying to learn, this is just saying, fucking do it, right? And in the Leo reading, 
it was kind of talking about a land of magic, sort of. You know, it's a place that you can go to level up. Maybe it's literally a tree, you know, the, the tree that you can learn from, the tree that you can bond with in, in that way. Um, but in order to really get there and accept it, it's like there's some of these other things that you would kind of have to let go of, or not even, but it's like the potential of a bunch of other things you would have to let go of. So what ultimately comes out of this is the strength card. So this is basically a method in which you do grow stronger, but it's like you prove your strength to yourself. This is um, really powerful when it comes to believing in yourself and uh, sort of understanding your own potential. You know, it's like, look how fucking strong I am. The, the discipline and the strength. Um, this is basically how to to get there and how to prove this to yourself. Theoretically, the discipline and the strength are always there, right? But this is how you prove it to yourself, that you are full of all of this resolve and strength. So I'm just going to try to pull a quick guide card on this. And like, if there is like a bridge here, um, we get the Ace of Swords, so again, this is just Resolve. The Ace of Swords is about taking full responsibility for every part of your life, and therefore you have full control of every part of your life. The Ace of Swords is a victim of fucking nothing, right? So, part of this is going to be letting go of any sort of victim mentality, or even a feeling of not having control. The ace is just saying, fuck it, I control this shit now. And moving forward to the place where you can level up. Maybe even finding the tree, you know? But that's what we get for Capricorn. And let me know if you have any questions or comments on this. And peace.